Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up VS Code for Python programming, both for regular .py files and for Jupyter Notebook files. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install and set up software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have this folder open called Python, and I'm going to create a file with the .py extension, a regular Python file, so I'm going to create a file called main.py and hit enter. Okay, as soon as I do that, VS Code senses this is a Python file, and it asks me, do you want to install the recommended Python extension from Microsoft for the Python language? I can either click to install it directly here or click to show the recommendation. Now, this is the extension you want to install just in case that uh, message doesn't pop up. It's from Microsoft. It has IntelliSense, linting, debugging, Jupyter Notebooks, so on and so forth. I'm going to click that to install it. Once that's installed, we can close that out and I'll close out the extensions there. And in my main.py file, I can write some code. So I'm going to do a simple print statement. So I'll do a print and I'll say something like, hi, my name is Tim. And you'll see here, I don't even have to save it, but if I go over to this play button here and just click on the play button, it's gonna save the file and then run it. And you see down here, we get, hi, my name is Tim. So we're all good for uh, working with regular Python files, okay? Now, if I wanna do some Jupyter Notebook, I can do that too. So I'm gonna create another file. Let's call it test.ipynb, okay? And I'll go uh, create a cell here. We'll just do some simple math, two plus three. I'll press Alt Enter. And it's gonna ask me to install the suggested extensions. I'm gonna click on that. Now, sometimes we can go over here. If I go select kernel, I'm going to pick this Python 3.9.2. Okay, now let's uh, try running this again. We may need to restart, but let's see. There we go, and it runs runs fine, actually. So now we've got Jupyter Notebooks uh, set up and running as well in VS Code. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, could you please give it a like? It will help the video out a lot. Thank you.